Alright guys, welcome back to my whatever. Yes, I am back in my shed, soon to be studio. Yes, it is still unfinished because it's not going to be finished for a while. Anyway, um, yes, as you can tell from the title, this is another book haul, but not really. And no, my channel is not about to become nothing but book hauls. Uh, because I wasn't planning on doing another one for a while, because I have no intention of buying more books for a pretty good while, because I have a ton that I need to get through. However, when I finished my last book haul, I realized that I had a few books that I missed. Like, they were from the same trip, the same shopping trip, but their bag got separated from the rest of them. So I'm just gonna go through those really fast. There's only like five of them, and, um, uh, and then this should be the last book haul for a while. However, I do have a question if you would like to answer. On my second channel where I do read the books that I own, um, would it be nice to see my book hauls on that channel? Because I can keep uploading them here, I can upload them there, or I can do two. I could do one here and one there. So, you know, if you have a preference, if you care, if you want to, you know, Tell me how you feel where I should do it. Just leave that in the comment below and uh, we'll get started. Okay, the first book that I got, I almost didn't buy that day because there's one that I want with a much prettier cover, but because I got this at the dollar book swap and paid a dollar for it, it was worth it because the one that I wanted with the really nice cover, it was 20 or $30, I don't remember, but really the only reason it was so much was because of the pretty color. Because it was at Barnes & Noble, they had two copies of the book, one that was like $10, and then another one that was $10 or $20 more expensive just because of the cover. And this is an entirely different cover, and I got it for a dollar at the book swap, so I just went ahead and bought it. I was going to try to save for the fancy cover, but I didn't. So, this is... Well, it's the all-new third edition. Anyway, of The Complete Fairy Tales of the Brothers Grimm. This is the cover that I got. I'm glare from the sun, sorry. Yeah, the one, the one that I wanted, I don't know what edition it is. Honestly, I only just now noticed that this said the, the third edition. Addiction? Edition. So, I don't know. I'm not sure which one the one I wanted was, but I'm still happy to have... I'm happy to have the collection. It's something that I've wanted forever, but I've just never gone about buying it. And then I have a book that just looked interesting to me, which is what most of them are. Um, this one is Max Free. This is actually book two, so I have to find book one, but I didn't want to let book two slip through my fingers and then have book one and go, well, I had, could have had book two, but now I have to go get it. So I just went ahead and bought it, but I know I'm going to have to get, get book two. But anyway, it's, um, I guess, oh, it's by Max Free. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Max Free, Max Fry, F-R-E-I, I'm not sure. But anyway, the series is The Labyrinths of Echo. Again, this is book two. It's Stranger's Woe. And this is... Let's see, the Labyrinth of Echo series, yada yada yada. Oh wait, no, hold up. Wait, who is this by? I'm so confused. I thought it was by Max Free, but it's not. Oh, I get it now. Okay, so Max Free or Fry or whatever is the main character. It says, Max Free was once a loser, a hardened smoker, a glutton, and a loafer, but one day he discovers a parallel world where magic is commonplace and where he fits right in. Okay. And the reason I don't know what the author is is because it says this was translated from Russian by Poly, by Polly Gannon. So this book was originally told in Russian. So this is just translated. Oh, okay. So I have no idea the name of the original author for this story. And even if I did, I probably couldn't pronounce it. So, okay. Now we figure that out. This one is... This one is by Wendy Mass. It is Jeremy Fink and the Meaning of Life. And on the cover, it says, Four keys, two friends, one answer. Again... Another book just looked interesting. I am 
I am very drawn to keys. I really like keys, so seeing, you know, all the old keys on the cover caught my attention. So, anyway, it says he collects mutant can- mutant? Sorry. In one month, Jeremy Fink will be 13, but does he have what it takes to be a teenager? He collects mutant candy, he won't venture more than four blocks from his apartment if he can help it, and he definitely doesn't like surprises. On the other hand, his best friend Lizzie isn't afraid of anything, even if that might get her into trouble now and then. And then I've got another one that I don't know what it is. This is by Christine... Christine Boy? B-O-I-E. It's The Princess Plot. Like I said, again, I don't know what this is, but that cover looks really awesome. It says, Lies, Camera, Action. Woo! Sorry. <laughs> There's a bug. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Jenna just won the starring role in a movie about a princess. Sweet. In the wink of an eye, she's whisked off to the remote romantic kingdom where the story takes place. But th something's amiss. Instead of being on a shoot, suddenly she's being shot at. And then this one, I know what this one is. I mean, I don't know 100%. I told you in the last one that my favorite author is Sherilyn Kenyon. This is one of her books. I actually grabbed this at Walmart. It was the same day, but it was like different shopping excursion, but the same day. And I don't know, it just wound up in the bag with these and it got separated. I don't know. But anyway, this is Dragon Mark, one of the books of Sherilyn Kenyon's Dark Hunter novels. So, I'm really excited to have this one because, like I've told you, I'm trying to get them all. And really, the Dark Hunter novels, you'll understand, they, again, she doesn't have a book one, two, three, four, but she has a preferred reading list. And in that preferred reading list, they're not exactly all Dark Hunters. She also has Dream Hunters and Were Hunters. And there is one other book that is none of those three things, but it's the very first book, and it fits in. So she just kind of shoved that in, and uh, oh, and I have read that one. That one's a really good one. So can't wait to read. I want to say I can't wait to read this one, but I can't read that. Wait to read any of these, any of the books that I have. Um, sorry, I keep saying um. I don't know. So anyway, if you do follow me on my second channel, you will notice that all of a sudden I have chapters going up every day at five o'clock on time because I successfully managed to work all day the other day. Woo! So, here's hoping that at least for the rest of the summer, I can have a chapter go up every day at five o'clock. That's the plan, okay? And then once school starts up again, I will figure it out from there. But for now, the goal is a chapter a day until the end of the summer. So, I should actually have Eleven Thumps, book two, done by the end of next week, I think. I think so. Okay, but yeah, that was it. Really quick, because there's only five of them, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, and I promise the next time you see me, it will not be a book haul. <laughs> so, without further ado, don't forget that the links to all my social media is down below. I do have a Twitter now. I don't really know how to use it or completely understand it, but it's there, and I'm trying. <laughs> And as usual, click the like if you liked it, comment if you feel like, subscribe if you want, and share with your friends. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!